In this episode, I will show you how to make top three essential dressings that you need to know how to make. First, I will make ranch dressing. Take a quarter of a bunch of dill, remove the thick stems and cut it fine. Make sure to cut it as fine as possible right away to avoid releasing the oils into the cutting board. Homemade ranch dressing tastes much better than the store-bought and will take you only a few minutes to make it. Take a quarter of a bunch of parsley, remove leaves from stems and chop it fine. Ranch dressing is delicious on salads, as dip for fresh vegetables or ideal with the chicken wings. I will need about 1 tablespoon of fresh chives. Roll it into the wet paper towel so it won't slide while you're cutting it. And cut it as thin as possible, so that each piece is approximately 1 mm. Make sure not to cut chives big like that. And now let's combine all the ingredients. Take a large bowl, add half a cup of mayo, half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of buttermilk, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, one and a half tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of dill, one tablespoon of chives, squeeze about one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, add half a teaspoon of distilled white vinegar, season it with salt and freshly ground white pepper. Mix it and ranch dressing is ready. You can put it in the fridge for a couple hours so that all the ingredients introduce to each other. And enjoy it with your choice of vegetables, drizzle it over the salad or I personally love it with the buffalo wings. And by the way, the recipe for the buffalo wings you can check in the left corner now or in the video description. Now let's give it a try. Dressing number two is an Italian dressing, my favorite one. Take a quarter of a bunch of parsley, remove leaves from stems and chop it fine. Italian dressing has always been one of my favorite salad dressings, especially when it's homemade. It's light, zesty and delicious. Take one garlic clove and puree it. I like to use a pinch of salt to make it easier for me to puree it. Italian dressing is ideal for green salads, pasta salads and any other dishes. Please subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my tasty, delicious and beautiful videos. Obviously we need some Parmesan cheese, don't forget to grate it. I will need 3 tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. Take a large bowl, add half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Add garlic, 1 teaspoon of Dijon mustard, 3 tablespoons of white wine vinegar, 1 tablespoon of honey, one teaspoon of dry oregano, one teaspoon of dry basil, one tablespoon of fresh parsley, zest some lemon, and add one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Season it with salt and freshly ground black pepper. Whisk it. Add some Parmesan cheese and whisk it well until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Italian dressing is ready, let's give it a try. My Italian dressing came out outstanding. Transfer it into the jar and make sure to shake it before use. And the third dressing is a Caesar dressing. Fast, easy and it always works. First, we're gonna try if the anchovy is fresh. My favorite. Mm. 
Anchovies are great. Get a mortar and pestle. Add four anchovies. Two garlic cloves. And pound it. Caesar dressing is not made for any salad. It only goes for Caesar salad. With some nice grilled chicken or grilled shrimp. Make sure to pound the anchovy and garlic well to create a paste. The paste is ready. Put it aside for now. Take a large bowl, add two egg yolks and whisk it for about one minute. Take a towel, fold it as a nest and place your bowl in, so it won't slide while you're whisking it. If you don't want to whisk everything by hand, you can definitely use food processor. Add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Whisk it. Add garlic anchovy paste. Mix it. Add one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Season it with salt and freshly ground black pepper. Add one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Whisk it. Take half a cup of canola oil, or if you want, you can definitely substitute it with the extra virgin olive oil. Gradually pour the canola oil in, whisking it until the dressing is creamy. Grate half a cup of Parmesan cheese and mix it together well. Now let's try Caesar dressing to see if we need to adjust the seasoning. This dressing is so fresh and creamy, and I just love how easy it is to make it from scratch. Mm. Beautiful, but I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. These three dressings, ranch, Italian and Caesar, I think are the top dressings that you need to know how to make from scratch. It is very easy and much better than the store pot. Caesar dressing is ready, put it in a container or mason jar and store it in the fridge for up to seven days.